Hi Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. All right, um, so once again, this is a very general reading. I'm trying to get the light together because this looks perfect, but this is more realistic a little bit. Okay, ooh, my iPad fell. What the fuck? They didn't know me to do this reading. It's just so many different interferences, like... Oh, good lord. Okay, so first things first, Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and get right into this. If you do want to book a personal reading with me, that link is going to be down below in the description box. Also, today is Saturday, so um, I am definitely finishing up personal readings today. Um, I was very, very busy, so you will have them by the end of Saturday. Okay, also, um, I do have slots available for next week. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you do, but let's go ahead and get into this. Everything you need to know is down below. Yes. But I kind of just want to pull your energy. Also, I've been picking up the, the, the angel number 777-111 a lot for you guys here. And then this is actually the star card. Before I can even show for my deck, that wanted to jump out on me. So maybe you guys are in your normal energy here. Or maybe you're just feeling yourself. You could be in good health. Or you feel like, good. I'm hearing that song. It feels good. Yeah. Or like that song they play. During tax time, when you file your taxes, I forgot what it's called. But you have the cherry card here. We have the Ten of Pentacles. I have you in your energy, and I have the Four of Pentacles. So right now, Aquarius, I see this for a lot of you guys here. You're moving forward, all right? Either you're actually physically moving here, changing jobs, changing positions, or more importantly, just changing something okay that's going on in your life also i'm seeing the ten of pentacles a lot of you guys need to focus on your money um i'm hearing harebrained schemes so if you have like certain ideas or you have certain hobby or things that you want to go ahead and pursue or you've been pursuing them and um they've been yielding a lot expect there to be more okay congratulations on that also four pentacles i see you guys are very quiet right now you could be just be watching everything or like you know making your next move your best move Collecting on your rewards, your harvest, and also kind of just watching your back or watching what's going on. Okay? So, I kind of, kind of want to pull some cards here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the five of wands reversed or the five of wands. So, let's go ahead and pull five cards, and then I'll see what's going on. Okay, so the first card, we have a jealous air sign. So, somebody is an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini here. Or somebody could be accusing you of being jealous, Aquarius. Okay, flip it how you need to. You could be watching with an Aquarius, dealing with an Aquarius. Um, you have Aquarius placements. Or uh, this could simply have a message in here for you, regardless of your sign. Sorry. Let me turn on the TV. I do have Law & Order playing a little bit. But, um, yeah. And then I have Enemy in a Past Life. Okay, so whoever this jealous person is of you, either you were an enemy in their past life or they were an enemy in your past life. Hmm. And a lot of times when we have enemies that are very, um, like very high ranking enemies or very high alert enemies, um, sometimes in different lifetimes, I don't know if you guys know, they are reborn into your family, depending on um, what your line looks like, or they could be reborn or, you know, reincarnated. Okay. So, Aquarius, time out. I just heard they don't want me or he don't want me or her. I heard that. Yeah, a diversion. So, somebody's trying to um blow go up to school with you. Uh, up to school with you. I don't know whose message this is, but what's going on is like whoever this jealous air sign is or they have air sign placements. So, they could definitely have like an air moon or a rising, but they could be a fire sign, okay? Um, it just depends. Like me personally, I have an Aries sun, Aquarius sun, and my man has an Aquarius moon. Um, I have Aries moon, and then he has an Aries Venus. So, um, yeah. So, two of cups. Whoever this person is, we have the two of cups and the judgment energy. So, whoever this is, whoever this person is, who is a, who is a jealous air sign, that's confirmation right there, or air placement. Hold on. Let me take some time doing the reading light. Hold on. Okay. So, like I said, whoever this jealous air sign or air placing person is, um, what happened was they were jealous of you. And why is this person jealous of you? 
Let's go ahead and see why for a second. Judgment card verse. This person's jealous because you continue to get good karma or you always walk away unscathed. Unscathed, I'm hearing, okay? Also, this person's jealous because maybe you attract um, a lot of attention here or you command attention, you command res respect, okay? Or more importantly here with the Queen of Wands, um, you are very strong, you're very powerful, you're very fierce regardless if you're a man or a female. You know, when... when um. When a female is in his energy, she's a false ass bitch or a real ass bitch. But then again, when it's a nigga, he's like, he's a real ass nigga or, you know, he's a boss, you know, he's top dog, you know. So, like I said, regardless of your gender, this is just what I'm getting here. This is why this person is jealous. Yeah, Nidus Wars. Also, I'm hearing like if people have certain information, whether it's secrets or it's important or, you know, to know something before it's released to the public, you always have first dibs or you always hear about something um, going on or you're always the first person people tell their business or their ideas of what's going on before anything is available or also, this person could even be jealous of your connections if this is like your lover, um, your friends, your family member, a connection with like your mom, your dad, your cousin, or even just connections you have like with your kids, your friendships, your networking, business partnerships, etc., co-workers. Yeah, strength card and three of pentacles. I feel like what's going on here is that this situation here, this is somebody here who you encounter as in like, you know, in the community. Yeah. So either you come out, you 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 encounter this person at work at home, not at home. Maybe when you're leaving your house, this is like your neighbor or something. But you encounter this person specifically, like at work, at church, at the grocery store, or in your town somewhere, Aquarius. Yeah, this is what's going on. This person is like jealous as fuck of you, and this is the reason why. But it's like their jealousy and their evil eye and what they're sending to you is not going to matter, or it's just not going to uh, phase you or get to you or even affect you. It's not, it, you know, it will not prosper. Okay, yeah, I have the Hermit card and the Queen of Cups. This is something they hide or they keep private here, okay? Like, this jealousy that they have for you, Queen of Cups, they may see you as a mother, a wife, loving, etc., a businesswoman, very emotionally mature, or, you know, the same thing goes for a man. But it's like, when it comes to their jealousy here, they cannot hide it. It's like over, what do you call it? It's overly noticeable, like, imagine somebody trying to hide the fact that they have a mini skirt and a tube top on, but they're wearing a robe, but the robe is halfway open. You see what I'm saying? Like, remember when we were kids back in the day, and, like, you wanted to wear what you wanted to wear, and your parents were like, hell, no, nah, that's too grown. So you snuck some clothes on top and then took them off when you went to, uh, enough of that, okay? Because, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's, like, what he's giving he went, they want to dress it up and make it look real for you. Like, act like they don't have a problem with you or whatever it is. Um, recently, this person got humbled or this person is going to get humbled here. Okay? Um, like I said, for some of you guys, if this person has not become became humble or went through a humbling experience regarding being jealous of you, um, this is how the situation is going to play out. Six of Cups. So, what's going on here, they're going to try to uh, compare something that they have or trophy or whatever they have to you, right? And with the Knight of Pentacles, they're not going to get any return or I feel like whatever they're saying here, Three of Pentacles, ooh, yeah, King of Swords, they may either reach another, okay, so either they're going to bump into another air sign for some of you guys here or they're going to bump into a karmic masculine okay or somebody who's in masculine energy um but like kind of like corrupt like they're corrupt in a way like maybe this is like a boss or a manager or somebody who has some type of power but like they're either corrupt or they like you know bend the rules or somehow you know like they do what they want and they think the karma does not apply to them um and for those of you guys, like I said, it could be a king of swords or somebody who's in a masculine energy who's upset, who um, who works a lot with their throat chakra and knows how to chop a motherfucker all the way down. They're going to they're gonna have a humbling experience because I feel like what's going on Three of Pentacles, these people either know you, they know of you, or Seven of Pentacles, people have put in a lot of time and energy and this person um, is going to do a lot of gossiping or they're going to do something that's going to be over the top or out of pocket. For some of you guys, this is a reoccurring thing and I feel like with you showing up at the Queen of Cups in this reading here, all right? Yeah, Knight of Swords. Somebody's going to come back and tell you this. More importantly, I feel like they're going to come for this person's head. Yeah, Judgment card. They're going to call Judgment. They're going to be like, hold on, hold on, Six of Pentacles. We Don't start none, won't be none. But they're going to balance it out. Yeah, King of Cups and the, and the Hermit card. Yeah, they're going to go head to head. And there may even be a third person that jumps in. But like I said, it's going to be a situation where this person is going to try to make it to where people don't want to fuck with you, deal with you, be around you. There's something you want to say or do. And the motherfucker going to be like, hold on. So you're trying to make it seem like 
nah, we not really fucking with that. Like I said, this person is the enemy in a past life. And for some of you guys, um, for those of you this this, this already happened to, um, let's talk about it. For those of you guys that this has already happened to, let's go ahead and see um, what happened. For those of you, this this already happened to, like I said, five of wands, after this person got humbled, they wanted to try to manipulate you to try to make it seem like they wanted to compromise with you or be on your team or cherry card, move forward and act like, you know, this doesn't bother me and, you know, we can get over it and, um, you know, this is a small misunderstanding, however they got humbled. Because they want to now bring you justice and now Knight of Cups, they want to bring you something or manipulate themselves, giving you an offer, a gift, a I'm sorry, or um, an I owe you card. But I just see with the King of Pentacles verse, this person has no money or they have nothing going on in the material realm. They're showing up at the Ten of Pentacles or you're showing up in heavy water sign energy. I got Chariot here and I got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups that came out. And the moon is at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, this person is going to try to play in your face or they try to play in your face. And act like, oh, it wasn't that deep, or it wasn't this, or it wasn't that. If you guys got into it, or um, whatever it was, like they were going against you, now they're going to try to be cool. Yeah. And they're going to and they're gonna go as far as trying to seduce you. For some of you guys here, this person is going to try to go as far as seducing you and trying to either plan a vacation with you, plan a date, or plan some type of overnight stay. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, because they realize that if they don't do this, it won't work out, or they're trying to make things work in their favor, okay? Because it's like once they got humble and it hurt their ego, it hurt their pride, now with Eight of Pentacles, this person wants to get on your good side more importantly here. Like, imagine a motherfucker who really is, like, jealous of you, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. Like I said, I'm seeing the Tower card here. I'm seeing the Eight of Cups, all type of energy. Magician keeps popping up. Yeah, the person going to want to try to seduce you for some of you guys here. This is your next move. And they're going to ask you, like, oh, you want to go on a vacation? Or they're going to try to get, like, real close to you here, King of Pentacles, and act like they got it like that. Yeah, the star card here, like I said, you got it like that. And people be watching you, stalking you. Like I said, you are a leader. You're recognized and you're respected. But this person here, like I said, King of Pentacles, they only are worried about the material realm. They're not worried about, like, the fame or anything like that. They're just worried about the money, the security, the finances. Like, money, 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 money. The gluttonous appetite. And Aquarius, I just feel like you're more worried about your necessities. You're very raw. You're very uncut. Like, you're just you. And this person going to take some time to seduce you here. Queen of Pentacles to act as if, you know. Like I said, they're really jealous of you. They may even give you a love offer for some of you guys here. They may, but they're, Like I said, they're jealous. They want to be on your team or they want to be cool with you or whatever it is. And act like, you know, you guys could be in the same energy and rule the world. But now you're showing up as the Empress. Or if you're a man, you're showing up as the emperor. Yeah, and I feel like with the king of swords of verse, you're going to have to step down to the queen of swords of verse or king of swords of verse and cuss this motherfucker out. Yeah, because two of swords, they're going to try to do the same shit over again. Do some type of jealous act or, or two of swords blind you so then they can go ahead and go in for the kill yet again and either like embarrass you or somehow use some type of tactic because they're jealous of you to make you feel less than or, uh, or, or make you feel funny. Okay. And for some of you guys here, this person is going to try to create a diversion, okay? This person is going to try to create some type of diversion or distraction or um, something to take your attention off of their jealous ass after, after they already get humble. They're going to they're gonna use the diversion because they're going to try to distract the empress. But one thing about the empress, I'm not going to lie, that is a good tactic because one thing about the empress... Any delays or anything that the Empress is distracted about, when she turns her focus back or when things start moving again, it's all in divine timing. So if this person is going to try to fuck with divine timing and free will to create some type of diversion to distract the Empress, thinking that, okay, well, if I distract her long enough, she won't even realize the distraction. She would just think it's a delay, okay? Or something is taking longer than it should. Yeah, six of swords here, and all they're going to do is... Try to make you jealous and sail away. And three swords do this in a very deceptive type of way. Ten of cups. Even though after after them trying to manipulate you and make you feel like they love you or they care about you or your family or, you know, they care about your well-being and your happiness. Because this person, ten of pentacles, this is all they're really worried about here. But you already have the ten of pentacles. This is why this motherfucker is jealous. Ten of pentacles and two decks. Yeah. Like I said, they're going to really try to do their big one with this one. They're going to try to do their big one with this diversion. They're going to try to raise the bar up or, like I said, they're going to try to, like, um, what, what do you call it? Going big on big, like uh, Quavo and them say. 
the Migos. Yeah, Sagittarius card, Temperance. Yeah, Temperance and I have three cups. And this bird is chirping so motherfucking loud outside. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Like I said, this person is and also is getting advice from other people here or people who are just like them on how to up the score or how to raise the bar or how to um one up you or win or whatever it is. But it's like the whole time it's like you're not even competing with them. Instead, Four of Pentacles, you're sitting back and you're watching them. You're being very conservative with your time, your energy, and the information that you give out. And if anything, this person is being possessive and defensive because they know what type of time that you want and the whole situation. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, th this person here just wants control. Or like I said, whatever that makes you them jealous of you when it's Ten of Pentacles, the money, the finances, the inheritance, all right, the VA loans, the VA credit, I don't know if you got insurance, whatever it is, the house, the car, the clothes, the hose, I don't know, I suppose. I just want to be successful. Like, whatever the fuck it is, some of you guys could have recently seen a blue jay here or some type of blue or gray bird, but yeah, this is what it is. And they, like I said, they're going to be getting advice and trying to figure out how can they raise it, raise the ball with a big one. Or how can they stab you in the back five of swords and make the perfect plans or orchestrate this in the best way possible. You know, trying to do the big one. Yep. Four of wands. And this might even include fucking with your stability, your relationships, your job, or any type of foundation that is like long term. Okay. But yeah, like I said, with the Five of Pentacles, the Verge, we got the Ace of Swords, and we got the Four of Cups. You're not out in the cold, or like I said, you're not forsaken. God will not forsake you. Like you're not forsaken. Your ancestors are not going to forget about you. And like I feel like that's the truth. This person wants you to be out in the cold, or they're jealous because you're not experiencing the hardships or the financial ups and downs, the hopeless situations, heartbreak, or whatever this big situation they, they either have coming, or they're experiencing different things from back to back to back to back to back. This is kind of what it is. This is why they're jealous. Yeah, what is this, reminiscing? This person made me reminiscing on when they had it like that, or when they lived a certain lifestyle here. I don't know why this is reminding me of that uh, Nick Cannon and Christian, Chris, Christina Milian movie, and she was like, um, yeah, I'm driving my mom's car, and I, and she fucked her mom's car up or something. She wrecked it. He was like, I'll fix the car. I'll, I'll pay for the stuff. You just got to make me cool. And I don't know. Sometimes it's getting, it's, it's like that. Let me see something. So I think that's what it's called. Um, I don't know what it's called. I'm trying to see right now. Christina Million. Chris Brown. I don't know why I said Chris Brown. Lord Jesus. What's Chris Brown's sign? I know he's from Virginia. Somebody who's from Virginia? Christina Million and um, what the fuck is his name? Nick Cannon. Let's see what the movie is called. Y'all probably commenting it right now while you're watching the video. movie golly my phone doing all love don't cost a thing being love you know being loving and caring people don't cost a thing but then it also reminds me of that Kim Lamar song you ain't got a lie to kick it my nigga you ain't got a lie you ain't got a lie okay so yeah and what's going on this movie came out in December but let's see Christina Milian, she so September 26th. So I think she's a Libra. Yeah, she's a, she's a Libra, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then Nick Cannon, I thought he was a Sag. Let me see. I think they're both Libras. Let me see, y'all. Yeah, he's a Libra. I think Christine, Christina really on is a Libra too because of her birthday is on like the 26th. I think she's a Libra. Yeah, she is. I knew I was right. But yeah, this, this is what's going on. This person could even be reminiscing about like their old life, like that song by like Lil Durk has. Reminiscing about my old life. And then he was like, you know, what you doing with that profit money? You know, something, something, something. They took it from us. So like I said, this person could have had money or whatever you have now. You have in your way. You're doing your thing. Either they had this now or they were so close to getting it and they fumbled it. They lost it or they lost everything. Like I said, this motherfucker is jealous and shit. Child. Like I said, they may feel like you put voodoo on them. 
Or they feel like, like, either they gonna feel like, if they feel like you're doing voodoo on them. Or like I said, the shit that they're doing um, to make you jealous here, the shit that they're gonna do behind the scenes, <sighs> they, they on some weird shit. But this person may even feel like that you're doing voodoo on them or doing voodoo to get what you got. Yeah, but I feel like this is somebody here who actively does some type of story here. They're trying to learn how to do spell work and learn how to manifest. They don't know how to. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do, baby. Whole thing. Um, but yeah, let's see what you need to be doing here. How how should you handle the situation, Aquarius? Let's go ahead and see. How should Aquarius handle the situation? My nose ring been itching a lot lately. I don't know if it's because it's like hot outside or what. That shit. Okay, so your spirit guides are here. Okay. You got the five of swords. King of Pentacles, spirit guides, and then we have the five of swords. So basically right now, I just feel like you need to continue to bask in your glory, okay, to harvest your benefits here, to kind of, you know, do your own thing, live your own life, be an influencer, or, you know, show some skin, live your life, because you are heavily protected. But like I said, this person is going to try to cause a disagreement with you, or... They may go as far as always trying to disagree with you or always going head to head or whatever it is. Or this person could even start being like selfish because they refuse to surrender to you or they feel like you need to bow down to them. Or they think that's how you feel about them, but you don't. But like, it's like a jealousy thing. Like, it's a personal problem. Like, this person needs to go take their meds. They crazy meds because they crazy. Yeah, with the justice card, it's kind of like cause and effect. That's the truth. Yeah. Continue to let this person be ignorant here. Don't have to any regard for them because they don't really have any regard for you and if they try to reconcile with you don't do it don't do it don't do it don't do it okay but yeah like i said judgment card this person will be getting karma for all this weird ass shit that they be doing or trying to do yeah but like i said nine of swords this person is in mental anguish babes they're jealous jealousy is a disease inside the brain like you know I, I think you need to get it together because what j cole say ain't no such thing is a life that's better than yours no such thing no such thing like you know so yeah and he's an aquarius so but anyways this was the reading i'm gonna go ahead into the next one all right and i'm gonna try to upload this and get this out today on saturday but i will see you all later bye